Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So, at the bottom of the deck you've got the King of Wands, the Strength card, the Magician and the Three of Cups. So there again the Three of Cups appearing. Uh, this is about getting together with friends, uh, like I said, exchanging ideas, you know, getting things off your chest over there, having a good old chinwag with people that you used to know from the past. So there's some uh, meeting up with old friends energy going on over there. This is also kind of about being victorious and celebrating victory uh, in any kind of aspect that has been giving you problems in your life. So, uh, you know, you are coming out of a difficult situation and you are coming out of it and being very positive. And there's a lot of support going on for you over there. You're certainly working uh, very, very hard with that magician. You can see she's got the world in her hand over there and she's manifesting it so you can you are definitely working hard and manifesting your dreams you are very very focused whatever you're doing you're traveling a lot you're communicating with a lot of people you're uh, interacting with a lot of overseas people uh, you know a lot of people that have been foreign to you so a lot of your your horizons are broadening quite a bit and there's a lot you're working very very hard with that magician card uh, but you're enjoying it as well you've got the strength card of there so this is about drawing from that inner um, strength and being bold about all the moves that you're making. So you're not uh, sitting back and uh, being a little daisy in the corner. You are actually uh, being very, very uh, forthright at what you want. And, uh, you know, you are showing people exactly uh, what you're made of, the stuff that you're made of as well. You've got that King of Wands, and this is about a new offer, a new project coming in for you there. So you are going to be taking some kind of role in authority. Uh, you're being offered this role, and this is about people management. Um, this is in some kind of business venture that you're doing. Uh, but very much in charge, and this offer is coming to you. So there might be a promotion coming in for you, um, or it could be a, even a new job. And there's a lot of, um, you know, working with people f on an international basis over here. There's that very international flavor coming in with that King of Wands. So what's happening on, with you? You've got that Queen of Wands over there and the Knight of Wands. So there's the three Wands cards over here, and I have shuffled this deck pretty well. So the King, the Queen of Wands, you could be dealing with a, a fire sign person. This could, this could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy over here, or this could be your energy, you taking control. So it seems like there's going to be some kind of offer coming in for you on that international front, some kind of new job offer, or even a, you know just a, a job where you're going to have a lot of authority. So that's offer is coming in for you over there, and it looks like you're going to be accepting it but there's a lot of travel that's involved with this particular offer so you take that offer and you're going to be doing a lot of travel meeting a lot of people you might even be thinking about relocating um and uh you know doing this job on that uh somewhere overseas or settling down overseas the knight of wands is certainly about relocating and doing the job in another country the decisions that will need to be made uh will be um quick decisions so you have to be quick on your feet think fast and act fast as well with that knight of wands there's a lot of energy behind those decisions but you also have to make decisions pretty quickly you can't sit back and wait for things to happen you've got the six of pentacles over here so uh, this is about money that has come in for you but you've also been juggling money a little bit there with that six of pentacles so you know you've been watching your your coin put pretty carefully you also got a lot of projects on the go there it seems with that six of pentacles and you're you're managing to keep uh you know your keep everything up in the air so you are working on it and you're being successful multitasking with a lot of projects that you've been doing like i said this new offer comes in with that ace of cups there you've got that king of wands giving you that new offer of that ace of cups and like i said this could be something international that comes in for you there you've got that world in the background so something coming in there could be learning attached to this job or studying or even training people up uh, but there's certainly some kind of knowledge that isn't attached to it so either learning something new or even giving out uh, information to people uh, you've got the three of wands so this is about you being focused on work collaborating with a lot of people being an expert at what you do but also collaborating with other experts with that three of uh, pentacles so you're very focused on the coin focused on the work and you're putting a lot of effort into whatever it is you're doing. You might butt heads with somebody over there. <clears throat> so this is some kind of dispute that um, occurs. Uh, maybe a breakdown of communication with somebody as well. 
um, you know, there could be a truce that will be reached uh, between you and this particular person. So even though you're not seeing eye to eye with this person, uh, you know, there might be some compromise that needs to be met, uh, reached before, you know, things can run a bit smoothly there. There could be even a decision that you have to make. So something legal coming in, maybe even a decision about whether or not you want to accept this new job offer that comes in. So you're thinking about that as well. Uh, it seems like whatever you're dealing with, there's the Ace of Swords here. So victory coming in, clarity coming in for you over there and starting something brand new and ending something from the past. So you're cutting out ties for people from the past. There's that decision factor that's there. But it looks like you're going to finally make a decision about what you want to do um, as far as whether you want to accept this new offer and how you want to deal with the circumstance. You always need to be speaking your truth and make sure that you're very clear when you communicate with this Ace of Swords. You've got the five of wands over here. So still dealing with whatever job it is that you're going for, there's a lot of competition in it. So it's going to be a little difficult uh, to get in there. But uh, once you get in there, you'll be able to, uh, you know, you've got that Ace of Swords preceding it. So you will uh, make inroads into this new career, but there is a lot of competition, a lot of people vying for it. So whatever you do, you need to make sure that you present yourself as somebody uh, that is very attractive uh, and will be able to cope with this new position. Um, so there are still some kind of, if it's not a new job you're going for, you could still be dealing with a little bit of conflict on that work front over there with that five of wands. Uh, you know, uh, a lot of niggly details, people with a lot of opinions trying to force their opinions onto you. So just be aware of that. You've got the devil card over there. So this is generally your card, and you are very, very focused on that work um, so this is the card ruled by Capricorn. You can see, you know, you are climbing the stairs and now a new doorway is opening as far as your work life goes as well with this devil card. So going to the future, the final outcome, you've got the Ten of Cups, the Queen of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. So there again, letting go of old relationships. So you're severing ties with people from the past. You're definitely letting go of that cycle and you're moving on to something brand new there. You've got the Queen of Cups over here. So you are feeling a little bit down, uh, but you're looking at all your options and you're looking at this new job that uh, is on offer for you very, very carefully. You're considering it very, very carefully. If you're feeling a bit emotional about it, you need to let go of that emotional aspect because you've got this fishtail going on over here. So this is about feeling a little bit emotional, feeling a bit a little bit nostalgic about the past and you know that's depressing you a little bit this is the reason why you probably don't really want to move on because you don't want to let go of these old friendships but um you might even be considering buying a new home somewhere else so this is about moving on maybe you're getting a new job on the overseas front end you're considering buying a new home and relocating to that you need to let go of all those negative uh, emotions especially even with that devil card coming in over there if you're feeling a bit negative let go of those emotions and make plans for the future you're still worried about money over here with this five of pentacles this is feeling a little bit excluded from the crowd. Uh, this is that left out in the cold card. But this is about having, uh, you know, worried about money. You've got that those pentacles up in the air there. So finances are a bit uh, iffy at the moment, if I could say that. Uh, and you are worried about it. Um, and you are feeling a sense of loss of security as well. So maybe even leaving this old job or this old situation where that you have been in for a long time, it seems like you made a lot of good friends in this old place. Um, you know, maybe this is a promotion that you're going for. Um, it's making you feel a little, a little insecure there, and it's making you feel a bit depressed as well, because you've got the devil as well as that queen of cups. Uh, so you know, a sense of sadness about leaving that old job. And maybe this new place that you're going through, there's a lot of competition. It's, uh, you know, people are a little bit cutthroat there as well. And you're, you know, clashing swords with somebody there. Uh, but you need to stand up. This is a new cycle that you're entering. And if you hang in there, the initial problems are always going to be difficult, teething problems, as they say. Uh, but you will get through it and you'll make a lot of new friends as well. So new friendships will be coming in for you there. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, wolf pack. And the first card you've got is temptation. At this time, you will be tempted to take a risk or spend money you cannot afford. Or you might become attracted to a person who is married or committed. Avoid temptation at this point. So just take things very 
slowly and don't jump into things. Don't rush into things. Consider every option and every choice very carefully before you make it. There's an opportunity coming in for you there. Your plans are aligning, bringing you investments, real estate, money, legacies. Opportunity is coming into your life. Um, be wise enough to recognize it. A doorway is opening. So you've got that opportunity coming in with that King of Wands. Now, this could even be a relationship that comes in for you over there, but it looks like it's more of a job opportunity that comes in. So right now, the focus is still on work. Uh, and you can see over here with that devil card over there, that doorway is opening for you. So there is a new opportunity on the work front that is coming in for you. You need to recognize it and accept it. And um, finally, you've got the Innocence card over here, a time when you will be open to new ideas and an opportunity to build a new life. It might indicate a move. So there's a new, something brand new coming in for you. There, It looks like there is a move because you've got that Knight of Wands over here. And this is the card of movement and travel. And this is about taking that new opportunity and moving with it. So it looks like that opportunity is coming in for you, but it's opening a new door and you need to accept it. And don't get stuck in the past and go, don't reminisce so much on the past that you can't move forward. So this is the uh, Angel Tarot for the Oracle read. You've got the Lovers. There's a choice coming in over here. So carefully weigh your decisions and good health is returning. So um, there is a big decision that you have to make about what you want to do. And the Lovers always counsels. Make sure you're doing your research before you make big decisions. And it's all about money because you've got the two pentacles cards that are following it. The Knight of Earth. So time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments a guardian angel. So the Knight of Earth is also about travel to do with work and so this money is going to come in. It might be feeling as though it's taking a long time to happen but it will happen for you there. And the Four of Earth is all about stability and being too frivolous uh, or too cautious with money. Good business decisions giving to this, those less fortunate. So you are reaching a point of, of stability. Um, you know, you might be hanging, uh, clinging on to that past uh, too tightly so there is that need for you to let go of that but the four of earth is about stability that is coming for you and this card also counsels you know um, make sure you tell people where to get off so have your boundaries in place don't let people walk all over you and be very cautious on how you're dealing with money especially during this phase of the year uh, don't overspend uh, you know make sure that you're watching those finances as well but there's certainly financial security coming in for you over there this new job is going to bring you enough money so that you could put away money as far as savings go so you will be able to save money from this job you will have to work hard at it um, but there's going to be a lot of travel that comes in as well. So there's that choice as well coming in as to whether or not to accept this. And it looks like it's a really decent uh, job. It's a new offer and it's a new opportunity. And it's going to open a lot more doors for you. And you will uh, meet a lot uh, of new people as well. Some you'll get along with, some not so well, but then that's life. Uh, and don't take everything uh, that happens around you to heart. These are new people that you're going to be... Uh, meeting so give them all a chance and uh, you know you'll be opening the doors to something really great in your life so i hope that this reading has resonated with you and please don't forget to like share and subscribe if it has thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye